Welcome to the Oregon State Beavers football equipment truck. My name is Bill, my co-driver's name is Scott, and we're here to take you behind the scenes of what we do when we go to football games. When we start the season, the first thing we have to do is go pick up the truck. It sits up in Portland at Bridgetown Trucking. Tech Equipment and Bridgetown Trucking are the corporate sponsors for this truck and trailer. Thanks to them, we get to do this great job. If you're a freight business and need something hauled in the Portland, Oregon, Washington area, give Bridgetown a call. Our truck sits up at the yard and hauls freight in the non-football season, so that's why we have to go up there and get it and bring her back home for football season. So our first trip out, we have to do a practice at PG Park. We're going to play Montana State there in a couple of weeks, so we want to get up, get used to the facilities. So headed down to the truck wash, got the truck cleaned, making it look pretty, and then we'll head to the Corvallis, get it loaded, and Go up, spend a day, do a practice, walk through, and, and head home. This video is going to be about this first trip. What we load, our trip up, how we do it. So come along for the ride. Make sure to leave comments on these videos. Obviously, you can tell from this video, this is the first time I've done this, but if you see things that you want to see or know more about, put it in the comments. We'll try and uh, add that video in later as we go. Keep in mind this one's just a practice video. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to try and do every game that we do, home and away. I'd also like to know if this is even content anybody even cares to see. So like I say, please leave messages. We'll try and uh, see what we can. There's some things we may or may not be able to film just because of NCA rights and rules, but we'll do as much as you can, so leave me some comments. We take our truck down to Valley Pressure Washing in Albany. They do a hand wash down there. This is all vinyl truck. It's actually a white truck with a black wrap on it. It uh, So it has to have special care in how they get washed. You just can't put acid to it or all the other chemicals that they use on other trucks and with the chrome and everything just kind of take special care we do take it down to them they have a chrome shop where they polish up the wheels for us once a year make it look good and then once this thing's washed and looking good we'll put some tire shine on it and do some other little things to make it pop and make it look a little better but uh, these guys do a great job for us to get us going, but obviously as soon as we get down to wherever we're going, we're going to either have covered in dust or road grime or rain or who knows what else we go through. So we end up having to clean it down at the other end because one thing we want, clean truck, no matter where we are. Represents Oregon State and we want to keep it looking good. But if you're ever driving down through Albany, They'll clean anything from a car to a motorhome to a semi-truck, and they do a great job. They've been cleaning our truck for the last 10 years, and they haven't complained yet. Well, we're all clean, and time to head to Corvallis. Short little drive, and back into the dock and start loading. <laughs>
Well, now that we're backed in, it's time to start loading. Okay, and the big orange shirt there, that's Scott, my co-driver. One that just dropped the thing on his head, that's me. I'm Bill. Now we're only loading about half the stuff we really need here for a football game because this is just, like I said, we're going up for a practice walkthrough. But even with that, we still need quite a bit of stuff. So we're going to load up, take all this stuff up to Portland and get ready for uh, the team to show up. Some of this stuff doesn't come to us right away. So that's why sometimes it's a little slow in getting it loaded. And the guy here in this gray shirt, this is Taylor. He's one of the student managers. He helps organize, gets all this stuff ready for us. We'll kind of cover a little bit more about what he does in some other videos. <laughs>
Here in a little bit, you're going to see a bunch of other people coming in and out of this trailer. Uh, there are student managers. They help out with football. They're all kids going to school here, and they give up their time to learn football and learn stuff and help out with the team. But they are here to help out and do everything they can to make the football team succeed. Well, now we're all loaded. Like I said, just keep in mind this is only for a practice, so you'll see later on in other videos just actually how much stuff we have to take for a football game. This was a pretty light load for us, but what you see here is just kind of some small necessities for what we needed for a practice, walk through, some clothes, water tanks. We have a few things in here that we didn't need, like those things are puffy jackets, so we didn't really need them, but we didn't need to take them out of the truck either. Clothes hampers for dirty clothes for afterwards. Towels for players to take their showers and dry off. Um, equipment for the docks. Trainers. Bags. Pads. Cooler for stuff. Our cereal. Love that. Yeah, we arrived in Portland, got parked, and got ready to start unloading. That was our interest to haul everything into. So, gather everybody up, have a meeting, and make a game plan of how we're going to do it. And Just kind of needed to figure out how things were going to work, because come game time, going to have a lot more stuff and a lot more things to do so we just want to make sure that we practice this and get it ready to go now's when a bunch of student helpers come in real handy because yes everything's mostly on wheels but it's nice to have all these bodies to help you roll stuff in because we had to go in that building into an elevator down an entire floor just to get to the locker room so because it was a long distance, it helped having a lot of people here to help us do it all.
this is where we had to enter the elevator to go downstairs to get to the locker room. So everything that we had in that trailer had to go downstairs. And once we got downstairs, here's a quick little tour of what the locker room will look like come game day. This is where all the players are going to be at. Keep in mind that this is a locker room for a soccer team, not a football team. So it's a little tight in here for a football team. Welcome to PG Park, home of the Portland Timbers. Well, I'm not going to really show you the team coming in and the practice. We might do that on a different video. This is just more about what our equipment staff does. So, this was pretty much it. Then we, uh, they came in, did their thing, and then we went back to loading the truck. So, here we are, back to loading. All that we took in, all coming back now. Part at a time.
not trying to be in me Not trying to be cool Just trying to be in this Tell me how you do Can you feel where the wind is? Can you feel it through? All of the windows inside this room So I wanna touch you, baby Corvallis. Hope you've enjoyed this video of kind of what we did for practice. Please let me know what you think. And like I said, we uh, got some more commentary coming as far as actual game stuff and what we do from there. But other than that, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do everything you can, and we'll uh, make sure that we try to answer as many questions as we can. Thanks for watching.